So it is Monday morning. We are at Goodwill. Okay, it's not Monday morning. It's probably after 12. <laughs> it's been a morning, but we're gonna go in and we're gonna see what we can find. And I think one of the things I'm gonna find is the man I'm gonna marry. So let's go see if we can find him in this store. I heard the word is out that he is shopping today. We're gonna take a look. Let's grab a cart. See if we get a good one. These carts are always wonky. Oh, I might have gotten lucky. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> I never get it the first try. What is that about? Oh. oh, this one's sticky too. The day I find a good cart right, right out of the gate, it's going to be amazing. Oh, is a struggle. Struggles are real. Okay. This one's a little, nope, this one's not good either. Can you believe that? How many cards does it take to get to get a good one? Crazy. Let's try this one. Goodwill needs new carts. All right, this is going to be it, whether it wheels or not. All right, so today we are looking for everything. We're going to look at clothes. We're going to look at hard goods. Clothing seems good. It is red tag. So red tag is going to be 50% off. Beastie Beachy, look how pretty this is. Now it is $8, which is a little bit high, but with the 50% off, hmm, kind of liking that. We'll think about that for $4. I always like the bling. The bling is so pretty. Is it missing bling? Oh, I can't count all of those stones. We'll just take a chance. All right. Feels like my guy is in the store. Let's see if we can see him above the racks. I don't see him yet. All right, we're taking that sweatshirt, and I will go through the clothing with you guys. This is Dress Barn, red tag. Oh, $10, you're killing me, Goodwill. Come on. See, now this used to be like $4.99. You'd get it for $2.50. Now you're gonna get it for $5. Feels like a trick. It's a trick, Goodwill. That's kind of cute. W5, W5 is a brand that I see in TJ Maxx. And in TJ Maxx, it's usually about $12 or $13. So seven is a little bit high for a little t-shirt, but I do like the bicycle print. All right. Let's do a quick scan of the aisles. Oh, I'd see baskets. The struggle is real. Do I look for my guy or do I look at the baskets? Wonder where he's at. Sometimes I can see Roger above the racks because he's got such beautiful hair. All right, let me get past this cart. I see a waffle iron. Do we see him? We are hunting for Roger. That's what this video is gonna be called, hunting for Roger. Oh, I'll be really sad if he's not here. There's so many stores in the area that we thrift in. You never know where he is, but I am heading towards the toy aisle to see if I can find him. Oh, he's not even on the toy aisle. Where is he? <laughs> I spotted him. I don't think he knows I'm here yet. Waiting for my guy to turn around. Let's see if we can will him to turn around. Let's bunk him in the legs. <laughs> Hi. How are you? A rack just came out. Good. Hi there. Did she just bring this rack out? That was a quick hello. Got this tile down here is kind of pretty. We're gonna grab that. I'm not in the store 10 seconds. Look at that, kind of pretty. What else do we see? Let's grab this little guy here. I don't know if this is an old cart or a new cart. Hmm, that's not marked. I don't think that's going to be much of anything that goes there though because that's the Christmas aisle I'm being all organized okay this is kind of pretty $1.99 we're grabbing that so what do you got in the cart here what is that this I don't want that just that comes with it you got oh I thought it was old made I thought you were trying to say something uh, crazy. <laughs> crazy eights that's no good that's just what Bumo's good oh so I've never card, even heard of yeah, it card game Who's putting it out? Uh, Mattel. Okay, is it old or new? Um, I think there's some old and some new. This one's 2000, so yeah, 23 okay. years. 
And what are they getting for these? They sell for 20 to 25. Oh, nice. Yeah. And what's Goodwill charging? Uh, $2.99. So All that's right. Good. That's good. Yeah. All I right. Like we got a good start. North Face. Little, little pillar. Oh, we like the big logo. That's yeah. nice. What are they getting Seven for this? So that's oh, that's good. Bad. Yeah. yeah that's good. Too bad it's not red tag. Yeah. Red tag's 50 that's off good. today. That's okay, so this is my friend Brian. Well, he's not my friend Brian. Brian's holding this guy. Look how good this is. Five dollars. Look at that face. Are you buying them? Yes. Yes. Brian has the best eye ever. Let's see the other one. They're twins. You got twins. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're so good. What are you going to do with these? Uh, I'm not sure. Not sure. Look at Brian's cart. <laughs> Look at his cart. We're peeking. Oh, you have, is this a lamp? Is this a light? Uh, no, it's, uh, I don't actually want that piece. There's a pie crust shield oh. in there that I'm just getting for my parents. Really? My mom likes to bake. So. Oh, nice. I love the Bentwood magazine rack. Is that what that is? Beautiful. You have such a good eye. Just a little bit of Waterford. Oh, Waterford. You guys see the Waterford tucked in neatly? It's got a little egg beater down there. Oh, but the slots are everything. No tag. Do they have a tag? Oh, there it is. What is that saying? Extra large sloth. <laughs> in case you wanted a big one. Okay. Oh, this is Walmart? Is that what that's yeah, saying? That's what it says, yeah. Oh, good for them. So I'm curious what they retail for. That is one of the best plush I have ever seen. I love him. Great find. Okay, I'm just hopping down whatever aisle I can fit because the place is jumping. The place is jumping. Look at this bluebird. <sighs> $3.99. He's just like resin, kind of common, but blue always catches my attention when it's in birds. Either blue or red. Red cardinals are beautiful. Okay, this dish is very pretty. I don't think it's anything, but it is $1.99. Antique Reflections by Gottinger. Okay, that is very pretty. I should look it up, but I don't know. That's really sweet. I think I'm putting that in the cart. <laughs> How could you not have a happy day with these guys in your cart? So my friend Brian had them in his cart and he decided not to take them. So they're in my cart now. This is the best job ever. Having two sloths in my cart, helping me shop. All right, let's see what else we find. I like this coffee mug up here. What does that say, Shalom y'all? <laughs> That's hysterical. I think that's what that says. $2.99. Okay, I'm not buying single mugs, remember? Remember that's what we said? All right, I'm putting it back. Let's keep going down the aisle. Meet the bobbling heads. That's just scary. That's what that is. Soccer player. Okay. Okay, okay. We're looking, we're scanning. I do like these bowls. Those are pretty. Mainstays. That is Walmart, I think. Very pretty pattern, though. Okay, I am perusing the back shelf, which is basically Christmas, and found this beautiful statue. Old felt. You know what I always say about old felt? This is carved wood. And it is the shepherd. I really like this. This is going in the cart. They want $6.99 for it. So I will tuck that carefully in. And what else are we seeing on this back shelf? I really don't want to shop for Christmas, but sometimes this is the best time to shop because other people are not shopping for it. Oh, new cart rolled out. Let's take a look at this. Hmm, not real leather. I think it's fake. Fake leather. What else are we seeing? We're seeing a vase here. Oh, we might grab that. I like this pie crust edge. Kind of pretty. Let's see what else is down here. So these red carts are the carts that get rolled out. And the workers are wonderful. They kind of let us dig through it. 
see something else down here. I'm not sure what this box is. Oh, incense cone. We'll be skipping that. And who's making these guys? This looks to be Under Armour. Is that what it is? Sports. I don't know who that is. All right. Let's take a look at this guy. Does it have any cracks or chips? Oh, mommy, what did you tell And what me? does that say? Who knows? I'm gonna put this in the cart and look it up later. Let's tuck it in by this guy. <laughs> I never thought I'd be saying I have two sloths in my cart holding my merchandise, but here we are. All right, we might do a little bit more of the back aisle, just a little bit. I'm over it already. <laughs> This cookie jar is cute. I think this is Target, maybe. Let's see if we can see the label on the bottom. Yeah, I think that's Target. Kind of sweet, but I don't like shipping cookie jars. They break so many times. Recently, I had a wonderful buyer buy the Mean Kitty that I picked up at Leesport, and USPS um, misrouted the package all over the United States, and then it wound up broken. I was so upset. So upset for the buyer. Of course, I refunded the buyer, but even filing insurance is not going to happen. Oh, okay, enough of that rant. Three ninety nine dollars for this velvet pumpkin. Kind of like a velvet pumpkin. Hmm, it's not really pumpkin season. This is really nicely made, though. All right, he'll hold it. <laughs> At this point, I don't even know if I'm running a business or just having a good time. We have lost Roger altogether. Not sure where he went. Have you seen Roger? On the other side? He's avoiding the camera, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, this is the aisle we were already down. All right, you turn. Let's go back to the next aisle. Poinsettias up there are kind of pretty. Holiday time. Okay, maybe we'll go down the wood aisle to collect ourselves, get our thoughts together. But before I do that, I am seeing this reindeer. Okay, really like him. How much is he? $4.99. Do I want a reindeer in March? Hmm, I do like him. Do I want to ship him? Oh dear. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? All right, put him back, Karen. Get a hold of yourself. The whole day has gotten crazy. Oh, this breast dish is kind of pretty, $3.99. I do like that. Breast is kind of a slow seller for me, but I really like the front of that or the top. Will it open for me? It does. Okay, I'm taking that. That is too pretty to leave behind. I can always get my thoughts together on the brown aisle just brings me back down. It's very grounding and just just lovely. I love all the brown things. Now hopefully I can find something here. Wow, these are very interesting. Not saying interesting good, but very interesting. They look water stained like they got caught out in the rain. I don't know that I would want to hang those. I do like botanical prints. Um, recently, I saw somebody selling prints from a book. So the book was destroyed basically, and they took the prints out of a gardening book, an old one, and they framed them. Just stunning. So pretty. I'm not sure who this is. Does it say who it is? California, USA. Is that Hull? I might, that's a guess. Could be Hull of California. Here we have framed Lucite. Hydrangea, that's different, $6.99. I don't think that's especially old. Okay, what is happening here? Is this a bunny or a squirrel? <laughs> that's a bunny face. Uh, I don't know what is going on here today. This is just all craziness. $3.99. All right, I'm gonna come to my senses and put that back. I gotta get serious here and start looking for some items that are gonna bring a profit instead of stuff that I just wanna put in my cart. Ah, <gasps> these are cute. Oh, I wish these were real. What'd Roger get? What'd you got in that cart? Oh, Lancome. What's the Lancome? Is it perfume? 
Honey, did you get me perfume? <laughs> <laughs> Miracle Lancome. Kind of pretty. I looked it up. Some of those. Pretty did high. You, yeah, this this um scent. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't think of the word. This scent is high. Yeah. Or Lancome in general. The Miracle. Oh, the Miracle. I think so. Really? It is fifty dollars yeah. just for the perfume. What size perfume is this? One point seven. That's what I would go buy. The box set sometimes are the full sizes. That looks to be a one point seven. Oh, you do well with that. Do they have the gift set? I couldn't find it. There was one box. Like this one here. 119. Look at you. Look at you knowing perfume. <laughs> no, I don't know perfume. <laughs> you don't want me you. saying that on film, huh? No, I actually got it for you. You got know. it for me? I don't know if it's any good or not. No, anything. sell it, sweetie. No. It's good. Is it good? Yeah, I think so. Hey, you doing? Hey. Good. How you doing? I've seen you on TV. <laughs> <laughs> What's Hi. your name? Okay, seashell, which is probably not worth anything. It's pretty though. All right, so we are still on the brown aisle, one aisle over. Plastic. Okay. Kind of wish this was like a um, a metal crucifix. That would be pretty. Oh dear. Oh my. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. I guess he's a light up. Not quite sure. It's a very large brown bowl. Seems to be older. Made in China, not older. <laughs> kind of a reproduction. I do like this bowl. Something about it. It's so big and deep. Lots of possibilities with that bowl. What does that say? Southington? Rose Garden, made in Poland. Polish pottery, doesn't really look like Polish pottery. Oh. <laughs> Little dangly leg eggs, <laughs> those are really cute. I don't know what is going on in this store today. Is this glass bake? Looks like glass bake. Yes, it's glass bake, which is a very less expensive form of Pyrex, I do believe. Here is an apple clock. That is so bad, it's almost good. Sorry if you have an apple clock at your house. Made in China by K. I guess K painted it. All right, so this is supposed to be the white aisle and it's not really. It is the mixed aisle because everything is on this aisle. It's a gravy boat with this pink. Oh, I thought that was two separate. It is attached. All right, there are cases and cases of these mugs and Goodwill wants $3 a piece. Good luck with that. We're gonna be seeing these for a year because there's just so many of them. Oh, Celebrity Cruises. Peloponnesus, is that what that says? It looks like Peloponnesus. Hennessy, $1.99. All right, let's, let's see what's going on with this situation. Oh, there's also some tiles back here. Grabbing everything. Okay, we don't want those. Back to the glasses. Liberty Cruises. Oh, I don't like the way there's three with an orange orchid and then only one with a purple. Would have been better if they were all different. I would have picked those up. But it kind of doesn't make a pretty set. So I am just scoping out the men's section, clothing. Here's a pair of Kuji jeans. You guys know I always look for Kuji sweaters. The jeans don't do as well. Pretty much the other clothing doesn't do as well. It's just the sweaters people want. So there is the Kuji label. I should look these up, but in the past, if I could get $19.99, it was a lot. I don't see a price tag on these, but I would imagine Goodwill is probably asking $9.99 because a lot of their jeans are $9.99. 
So I'm not going to even check those. Might be a mistake, but we're going to leave those behind. Okay, this is one of those newborn dolls. This is ADG, Ashton Drake. Tasha, what was it, sweetie? Tasha something home, Eden home. Tasha Eden home. Look at that face. It's a little scary though. Should I get this? I'm not really into selling dolls. $4.99. All right, maybe I'll do $4.99 and just try to flip it quick for like, I don't know, 30. All right, I'm putting it in the cart. This is getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> Velvet pumpkins, newborn babies, and sloths. Oh my gosh. I want your cart. You have, <laughs> you have a nice cart. You have perfume. And what are these? I forgot already. They're, you dig through and look for treasures. Oh, I want to dig for treasure. It says guaranteed. Real gold dip treasure inside. Are you buying these? TJ Maxx, $19.99. One sold for 60 some, but I don't think. Really? There's only like one sold. Okay. Let's probably put them back. No, I don't want them. Good morning, everyone. Karen Lavender Clothesline here. So as you can tell, I'm sitting in my car, just getting ready to warm the car. It is a balmy 28 degrees here. It's freezing. We had a full start to spring and everybody was all excited for warm weather and now we are back to scarves and boots. But today I'm hitting the road. I'm probably going up to Shillington, about 40 minutes from my house. I don't know why I have a need to tell you guys how far things are. I do need a lot of clothing and and I also need housewares and hard goods. I need everything. Hit that like and subscribe button. It's a thrifting day. Store number two, Goodwill Store and Donation Center. So this is the big store and we're gonna go in. Let's try this cart. Ooh, it's a good cart. I think we got lucky. All right, so we are still doing blue tag. Today is $2 Tuesday. We're gonna see if we can find a lot of clothing. But first, we're gonna check out the hard goods. I have been looking for greenery for a wreath that I picked up. I'll try to insert a photo here. I picked up a wreath of lemons. I thought that would look pretty on my black front door. The door is kind of like really a dark gray. So now I'm looking for kind of like this color foliage, but without the sparkle. Kind of like a sagey green. Lots of Christmas stuff left over. All right, I don't really see anything. Kind of want like eucalyptus. Shelves are full though. That's a good sign. All right, let's go right to hard goods and see if there's anything interesting. It's a little fruited dish. It's a divided dish. Italy, $1.99, hmm, do I think that will sell? I think it might, $1.99 is a very good buy-in price. Lately I've noticed Goodwill has been lowering their prices a little bit. So we love that. We love when they come to their senses that we're all not gonna pay $9 for a ceramic dish, even if it is from Italy. Hmm, what are these? Oh, they are glass. I guess it's a salt and pepper because they think it's two of them taped together. Kind of looks like an ice cube. Not quite sure about those. Okay, why does this say Jackie? I'm not sure what's going on here, but I guess Jackie owned those. Here's some cookie molds. These are Wilton 1997. I haven't looked these up. I do pick up the older ones, but I think these are probably a dime a dozen. I'm gonna guess. Lots of good things on the shelves. What are these little panda cups? Candle holders made in China. These are pretty tray. I don't do too well with the trays unless they are very old and they're the toll trays. So I've stopped picking those up. Makes me very happy that they've kept all of the wood together. Wow, 
That's quite interesting. Two ninety nine. I'm not sure if this would be desirable or not. Okay, it's got it's got some threads attached to it. Maybe it had something against it. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my cart because the wood is beautiful. I don't know that this would be a fast seller and I might actually put this back, but for now I'm gonna hold on to this. I might even try to do a Google image search on that. Some tiles set in a frame, $2.99. Okay, I'm kind of liking these. There's this little boy and girl looking at an egg. A baby taking a bath, $2.99. And a little girl looking in a mirror. These tiles are very well done. I'm gonna go ahead and put those in my cart. Very interesting. And they do have some information on one of the tags. So I will stick those in the cart. Oh, I just spotted this hanging votive glass thing. Oh my goodness, this is lovely. $3.99. I don't see any chips or cracks. I think this has something mixed up with it. Let me see if I can get this untangled with one hand. All right, so this is the candle holder. I believe it does go in. There we go. Okay, it's still tangled up, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this. This is stunning. We love this. This would be beautiful hanging in a big old tray. $3.99, this is definitely a keeper. Oh, look, there's another one. How did I get so lucky? Oh, this is so beautiful. $3.99. We're gonna take this one too. I'm gonna be careful getting it off the shelf. I'm wondering if those purple candles came with this. $3.99. Crackle glass, not especially old. These are just lovely. And that piece is what holds the votive. So we're gonna put that in the cart. I love those. Are there any more of them? don't see any. I am spotting this swan, this glass swan. Okay, so with the barcode, that's not a good sign. But I haven't seen that swan before. I see a pineapple here. Unfortunately, it's plastic. That would have been beautiful if it was glass. There's a lovely vase. I think this type of vase is for putting um, a flower in, what is that called? It's a flower bulb. Um, nars I wanna say narcissist, <laughs> that's not right. It's got a chip on it. Okay, a lovely subscriber just said hello. Her name is Cindy, so thank you so much for saying hi, Cindy. I love when you guys come up to me. I never mind, even if I'm filming, I always want you to say hello. I can always go back to filming, but I wanna meet everybody, <laughs> each and every one of you. All right. Let's go to the next aisle and see what we find. It's very hard not to peek in the baskets that are being put out. Now this store does not allow you to touch um, any of the baskets of new inventory coming out on the floor. Every Goodwill has different rules. Okay, I love this little jar. It's a ginger jar, probably missing its top. So that's a little bit hard. It is only $2.99. I try not to pick up things that are missing pieces, so I'm gonna have to leave that one. But right next to it is this lovely jug. I think somebody actually made this, did they? Nope, mass produced. There's that telltale UPC code. Another ginger jar. Oh, this one's lovely. Unfortunately, it's got a chip, but I love the bird design. Oh, this is so pretty. I don't think I'm gonna get it with a chip, darn. And I'm not saying it's highly valuable, but this is just beautiful. Really pretty. We have some candlesticks here that are kind of falling apart. I don't know what the story is with that. Okay, so it's got a wick like that. It's almost like a hard wick. Huh. All right, so I guess you fill the bottom with oil. 
All right, I don't know what's going on here. I have never seen this situation. This one is missing its top. This is a wax one. Unless this was just to hold, hold the top on. Wow, this is a conundrum. <laughs> There's that word. I don't know what's going on with these. Hopefully they are not sterling silver and I'm walking away from them. I don't see any marking on them. And you know what? You can see the copper underneath it. So we know at best it would be silver plate. But again, I'm not seeing any marking on it. Oh, this is pretty. I know this pattern. Who is this? 222. 222 fifth, I think this is called. Very pretty. I think I'm spotting another one of the silver and glass um, hanging luminaries, we're going to call them, right here. Do you see it? Oh, these are so pretty. My word. Okay, let me see if I can get this undone. I don't want to break it. Chain is caught up on this other piece. All right, this one seems to be missing its candle holder, but I'm gonna keep my eye open for it, and I'm gonna go ahead and take this anyway because I love these. I think these are stunning. So putting that in, I would love a big old oak tree and um, to have a party in the evening and put candles in that. How gorgeous would that be? Look at this gorgeous couch. I think it's, it's bamboo, but I think it's called Bentwood Bamboo. Definitely sold, $75. Look at this pattern. This is this is really nice. I think that's been recovered. I don't think that's the original um, upholstery, but just lovely. Somebody got a good deal. Another lovely piece here. Cushion does seem a little bit. Oh, it's down filled. Whenever you find a down filled piece of furniture, that is a sign of really good quality. Let's flip this over and see what that's. Uh, this is a great piece. This is high quality stuff. I wonder what they're asking for it. I don't see a price and I really don't need this, but if I was flipping furniture, I would absolutely take this. This is all down filled. Look at the nail head trim, beautiful carving. Thinking this might be walnut, just beautiful. Look at the legs, truly old. Very pretty tapestry. Great piece. Okay, this mirror is lovely, but unfortunately, part of the curlicue is broken off the other side. It's got some damage. That is lovely. wonder if this is... It doesn't seem to be a real old piece. It is a wood backer. See the backing, how it's wood? And look how this is attached. All of these little shim pieces of wood. Not really shims, but that is lovely. That's a shame that it got broken. Let's see if I can stand it up so it doesn't get any more damage. I'm sure a woodworker would be able to repair this because really what you're doing is just tracing this piece of wood and cutting it out with a scroll saw and attaching it. So not an impossible fix, but it does need some work. Here's a round mirror. This is new, looks to be new. Let's see what the back looks like. Yep, newer. And I think this is plastic. Yes, it is. Still nice though, nice color. Picture that in a bathroom. If you have the bronze faucets, that would be pretty. I'm all about bathrooms right now because I'm designing, well, trying to design the pieces of the bathroom that we're putting in. I wonder what this piece is for. Okay, does this go in front of a fireplace or is this a quilt rack? Not 99. Hmm, am I being silly? What is this used for? I don't know. I love going through a thrift store and trying to solve all the mysteries. Okay, I do like this wire basket situation. Wow, that's quite nice. Okay, we have $6.99 and $1.99. I imagine the $6.99 is the correct price. A little bit on the heavy side. And that's going to be quite a big box. This is really nice, though. I don't know what store this would have come out of. All right, I'm gonna leave that. I'm trying to go a little bit easier on myself with everything going on. It's a little wire purse. Not quite sure what that's used for. $2.99. Wow, 
Well, today is called Interesting Day at the Goodwill. Lots of very unique items. Okay, we came down this aisle. Let me get to the next aisle. Carts and carts being rolled out. This country does not suffer from any kind of scarcity. That's for sure. All right, we're gonna go down this side. Let's see what else is going on. It's a little wire candle holders that go on the wall. Wondering if somebody painted this. It looks to be a coffee can. Okay, that's kind of sweet. $3.99. I don't know that there's a big need for these things, but kind of pretty. Oh, is this to play bingo? I want to play bingo. <laughs> that is very fun. It's either that or a funny hamster wheel. I think it's for bingo. My new friend Cindy and I were just looking at this piece. Look how stunning this is. Unfortunately, his plume is broken off his head, but this thing is gorgeous. I'm wondering if it's Murano because it does have a gold foil. It's all in Italian, it says made in Italy. The quality of this is stunning. Very sad that he's broken. He made it all these years. This is definitely old and he's broken. Such a shame, but I wanted to show him too because his color is just beautiful. His shape, the glass, the quality, everything is just so beautiful. Here's an interesting bird. He looks to be a bottle covered in leather. That is a guess. Yep, I think it's leather, definitely vintage. Let's turn him over. Made in Italy. I love him. He's got jewel eyes. Who doesn't need a little goose or a duck with jewel eyes? Just lovely. Gorgeous in like folk art or any, any decor. This is so farmhouse, country. We love him. He's going in the cart and what is he costing? $2.99. We're taking him. I also found this lovely piece of pottery. Now the way that that stripe up top is painted, I'm thinking this was done, you know, on a production line, but I love the colors. I think this would be lovely as a pencil holder, $3.99. Definitely scooping that one up. The cart is looking good. Okay, what is this here? I don't even know what that's to. Could have been a box cover maybe? Like there was a box or a tin and this was the lid? Just a guess. Oh, I see a plate under here. Let's see if we can get this out. Wood. <laughs> it says something. Very sweet. $2.99. I do like this. I like the color. I like the flowers. I'm hoping that says, welcome to our home. And that's going in the cart. Here's a piece of art glass. Very unique colors. Pastels. Seems like it might have a few inner cracks or little dings. You can see where the glass has, maybe that's where the curve is made. Nope, some of them have it, some of them don't. I don't know if that's Murano, it could be. See that right there? That looks to be where it was hit. That is lovely. The glass is beautiful. I did not take the sticker off to see if there's a mark underneath it. I think most times uh, Murano had a sticker, a foil sticker. Correct me if I'm wrong about that. Hmm. All right, let me feel the edge of it. Yeah, I think that might even be an inner crack. I'm gonna leave it behind, but I thought I'd show it to you guys. Show you, I am trying to look at glass, but we're gonna set that one back down right here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hold this for you guys to see this, but look at this lamp. Definitely vintage. Look at those tassels. Unfortunately, it does have a little bit of damage. This is all silk. Look at the pleating on this. Unbelievable. This must have been something in the day. <laughs> it is a hanging chandelier or a hanging lamp. Three-way brass socket. Ah, just lovely. Not really my style, but I figured I'd show it to you guys. 
because the lamp selection here is surprisingly good in this store. Gonna leave that one down there. Let's take a look at lamps, even though I'm trying not to buy too many lamps. I have been shipping out lamps, and that's where I say to myself, okay, no more lamps. <laughs> well, different modern ones, vintage ones. Oh, look at this one. Oh, look at that. Let's see if I can get this down without breaking it. Oh, this is everything. I wonder if this is originally like that. I think it is because look at the bird. He is wired on that center stem. Picture that lampshade on this lamp. That would be everything. Oh my gosh. Definitely vintage. Look at that plug. $7.99. Now everything is quite dusty, but I wonder if you could clean the bird. So sweet. I've never seen a lamp like that. All right, we're gonna put him back up there. We have two brass lamps. We have this one and the matching one here. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Let's see if they're heavy. Oh, they're very heavy. Solid brass. It's like a trophy lamp. Okay, somebody is testing a boom box. Hopefully that's not too loud for you. Lots of brass. Very interesting pieces. Okay, do not want to ship any of these, but look at that selection. It's like a lamp emporium. So pretty. Here's another vintage one, double swan. I was kind of hoping this was like an alabaster. I would have bought that. If this was alabaster, I would have taken it, but it is a ceramic, so probably a reproduction. Okay, we have some artwork. It's pretty wild. Very interesting. Okay, there's Venice. I did sell that painting, the Paris painting. What did I get for that? I think it was a hundred. Sold that on Facebook Marketplace. Again, I'll try to insert a screenshot. I think I dropped that off last week. Still looking at that chair with no price on it. You know, it's not really my style, but when you see something such beautiful quality, I usually call Lisa and say, hey, do you need a chair? And she's like, don't offer me anything else. <laughs> okay, we've got a big chip and dip or shrimp and sauce situation going on. Okay, this is lovely, I have to admit. Who's making this? USA 911. <laughs> I should call 911 so I don't pick this up. It's an emergency. Come save me. Oh my gosh, this is lovely. All right, I guess I wouldn't mind shipping it. I'm gonna look this one up though, because it is a thing, but look how pretty that is. The color is everything. All right, guys, so does anybody recognize that marking? I'm gonna have to blow that up with my phone so I can see what that says, but I guess it's going in the cart. Okay, so I just did a quick round of clothing and linens, found these gorgeous pillowcases. Look at the needlework on these. So I got two of this color, kind of like the burnt sienna color with the sage greens, and then two of the blue and gold. I love this. I think this is called French knot. I could be wrong about that. Very textured, just so pretty. And two of the green and blue. So for two pillowcases, $2.99. Not bad. All right, so I took all of those and just a few clothing pieces and Under Armour. I'm gonna see if Roger wants. New with tags, 550. This is my jacket and some other clothing. I'm not sure if these were out before and I missed them. These are iron cast iron corner um, filigree cornices. <laughs> I don't know what to call them, can you tell? 399, I think I'm taking these. These are vintage. I don't know who's gonna use them or where they're gonna use them, but kind of cool, easy to ship, and uh, this might take a while to sell, but I'm all in. All right, $4 a piece, I'm grabbing both. All right, so this is what the cart is looking like at this point. I think I'm gonna finish the video here. Got this gorgeous silk land shell top along with the overshirt, an April Cornell dress. I think I showed you the pillowcases. We have some North Face, some Talbot Sparkle sweaters, and a bunch of other stuff. All right, guys, hit that like and subscribe button, and as always, go out and get what's yours.